Oh, hey, it's Rob, and uh, here's my current Mustang, the 83 GLX convertible. But I thought I would just show you another Mustang that I've got right here. That's right. <laughs> These are the nearly 40-year-old Polaroids of my 66 Mustang convertible. I am just amazed these Polaroids haven't really faded. They still look great. I don't know, maybe they'll outlive me at this time, but I figure it's worth documenting in case they do start to fade or something happens to them. So this was a Sautern Gold 66 Mustang convertible that I bought around 1985, I think for 1,500 bucks. And uh, as you can see, it needed major work, had a lot of rust. Just look at that, that rear quarter panel. They did extensive work. It was too far gone and probably should not have even been restored, but it was. And there I am right there next to that mess of a Mustang. Uh, the place that did the restoration, uh, I think they owed... I'm not sure if it was my dad or maybe a friend of my dad, some money, and in exchange, they bartered for the restoration of the Mustang. It was really dirt cheap. I think we spent another $1,500 in parts and $1,500 to get the thing restored and painted. So what did I have into it? $4,500, five grand or something like that? It wasn't very much. Maybe the numbers are wrong. Anyway, that's what I remember. But, uh, and there it was when it was done. Candy apple red. Today, I would have kept the Sautern gold color, but my dad liked this color better. Matter of fact, we picked another color first, and uh, we didn't like it, so we changed it to this candy apple red. Can't go wrong, of course. And there it was with the uh, license plate 216NRH, the new red horse, I always thought. <laughs> and uh, so I had this Mustang here. Uh, for five or six years, mostly it sat in my grandmother's garage when I was off at college. I didn't have it out in Boston, so I would drive it summers in Michigan, and then it would, uh, be put away until the next season. I drove it out to Los Angeles, and there's that 216 NRH <laughs> license plate still. Anyway, I drove that Mustang out to Los Angeles. Hey, I just decided it really wasn't a great car to drive around in the streets of L.A. I was worried something was going to happen to it. So I sold it to a guy who put it in a container and shipped it off to England. 